here Vien Anderson after a 3 1 win in front of a Saints home crowd for the first time this season against Tombridge Angels. Ian, first of all, the result, what do you make of it? Uh, really pleased, that obviously, um, as you said, it's great to have supporters back. Um, I didn't think we, we started the game as well as we've started a lot of games, and uh, really, you wouldn't have thought that we've just kept. Uh, five clean sheets I think it was that um, we've allowed them to score a goal as easy as what we did um, I didn't think we started the game first 10-15 minutes um, I think we're a little bit off the pace um, we were second best to a lot of things that happened out there but once we got to grips with the games um, I felt our performance in that last sort of 70 minutes was outstanding it's probably the best performance we've had all season um, and some of the individual displays though we don't want to pick individuals out there I thought some of the performances were fantastic Going forward, I thought we looked quite exciting again this afternoon. What did you make of the forward line? I thought it was brilliant. I mean, I thought Mitchell and, and, and uh, Sean led the line really well. Um, they looked sharp, they looked bright. They've got a great understanding between the two of them. I thought Zane Banton was absolutely out, outstanding today. I thought his performance is probably one of the best performances I've seen uh, from Zane in the four years he's been with us. Um, but you've also got to look at you know Solomon Monash and uh, and Kyron in terms of the way they did their, their jobs. Um, they, were, they, were, they were fantastic. And once we started to pass the ball and get the ball down, and then you know to bring somebody on with the experience of David Noble with that last sort of 20 minutes to go, just settled everybody down, I think. And we passed it for, for, for fun, really, in that last 20 minutes. It was a really good performance. And uh, you know, just from once, once again, twice in the last sort of 10 minutes, we just, we've got to learn. We've got to learn to see games out correctly. We've done that all season. And just, I just felt like today we just didn't see it out in that last 10 minutes as well as we could have done. Um, they're all the things that we've got, to, we've got to pick on. They're all the things we have to learn from and they're all the things we have to take forward going into into the next couple of games. One downside was a quite serious looking injury to Tom Bender. How is he? It looks like he's dislocated his, uh, his shoulder. Um, it, from experience, that was, I think, six to eight weeks when we lost him a couple of years ago um, to the same injury. So really disappointing because Tom has been a stalwart for us uh, over the last sort of four or five years and, you know, you can you can count on Tom that he's going to come to uh, to, the, to, to the war with us in terms of games. Um, he'll, 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 he'll be in the trenches with us, and uh, it'll be it'll be a big loss to us, Tom Bender. Um, but we've got a we've got a good squad. Um, we know that we can put players in that will will deputise for for, for for Tom, and then uh, you know we just got to keep it going. But, but you know though it's Tom's loss, it's uh, an opportunity for somebody else to come in and show us how well they can play. We touched upon it at the start. How good was it to be playing back in front of the Saints faithful? But it's great because, um, as I say, we have nine months, we haven't been there and uh, I'm sure a lot of them don't know some of the players. I'm sure a lot of them have read a lot of stuff and seen some on the streaming. Um, and it's great to see them in, in the flesh. And uh, you know, I'm pleased that the performance today hasn't let the fans down because you know, hopefully that performance will, will bring them back. And hopefully when we're allowed to, we can, we can get this place packed out as we used to uh, going back to the Carlisle game.